Hey everybody, it's Flatboy Master back from Teenage Mutant Ninja Scrubs. State of the Games just finished today for 22nd of June and they've dropped the bomb on this one providing some great news for the future of the division. They're introducing a couple of new things that they spoke about today and one of them is classified gear sets. Now, before I start getting into what classified gear sets are, classified gear sets are actually going to be purchasable from a new vendor in the base of operations from the currency that you get from completing the global events that will happen for a week every month um, as the game goes forward. So that new currency that you'll be getting from doing global events and doing different things like that and you know applying the modifiers that they spoke about a few weeks ago and all that kind of stuff will get you a new currency and that currency is what you're going to be using to buy these caches that will give you a chance of getting these new classified gear set pieces. <laughs> now the classified gear set pieces themselves are basically a new addition into the game which actually means that the classified gear set pieces for instance if you have six pieces of one gear set that are all classified it will provide a new fifth and sixth buff to the gear set that you're using obviously and they will only be applicable and usable if you actually have six pieces that are all classified gear sets now the classified gear pieces themselves will have a higher start roll than the current gear set pieces that we're running at the moment but you will be able to slot in if for instance if you only have one classified gear set piece or two classified gear set pieces, mm -hmm. you will be able to slot them into your current gear set, increase the power of your current build without losing the utility of that build whilst you build towards getting up to the six classified gear set pieces that you need to unlock the fifth and sixth buff. Now they did go into some details about the 5th and 6th buffs that each gear set will provide but they, are, they did also state that they will be subject to change as well due to feedback obviously coming from the PTS and what's going on in the game due to these extra buffs that people will be using and getting but for instance final measure buffs they did go into detail on where, you know, for instance would be if you debuff a fire grenade it gives your whole team a DPS buff if you defuse an EMP grenade, it gives you a skill buff, so on and so forth. But again, these things are going to be subject to change. So we're probably best just waiting for the 1.7 PTS to drop for us to actually get a chance to have, have a look at these buffs and see how they turn out after the PTS has finished. They also did state that the Ninja Bike Messenger Backpack has been reworked and that's the new skill or buff from the Ninja Bike Messenger Backpack is that it will unlock the next tier of buffs for whichever gear set pieces that you're using. Now what that basically means is for instance if you had two Firecrest on and three Predators Mark on and a Ninja Bike Messenger Backpack, what it means is it'll be as if it, it'll be effectively like you were wearing four Predators Mark and three Firecrest and so on and so forth. So if you had five gear set pieces that were all different and a Ninja Bike Messenger Backpack, what that means is it would unlock all the second tier buffs for each gear set that you're using with, within obviously those gear sets that you've got on. And alternatively, if you have two or three pieces on, it'll unlock the next tier, so on and so forth, up to the amount that you're wearing. So you can have, you know, two pieces, two pieces and a one piece, and you would get a second buff, a third buff and a third buff, just simply by putting the Ninja Bike Messenger backpack on, which could end up being a little bit OP and basically game-breaking. Um, but, you know, what I've noticed from Vandalites Gaming's Discord channel is that that is one of the most exciting changes we're hearing about in the game so far. The classified gear sets sound amazing, they sound really good, but also you've got the opportunity to not be, you know, feel that you're, you, you have to go into building 
you know, six classified gear set piece in order to be more powerful. It looks like you're able to look at being powerful in more in different diverse ways by simply using a Ninja Bike Messenger backpack, which is great news for everybody that's got a Ninja Bike Messenger backpack in their stash and been waiting for this change to be announced. It is a really, really good change to the game. And it will be subject again to change depending on feedback, depending on the PTS and how things go for there as well. But it is all very, very good at the moment regarding gear sets and these additions that they've discussed today in the game. So Seeker Minds, as I said, are getting a nerf, but it will allow us to maybe play the game slightly differently, but it does mean that skill bills are getting hit yet again, and it's something I think they really need to stop doing, because they are forcing people to play in a certain play style, simply because they're not maybe vocal enough, I don't know, I love my skill build, I think Seekers, if you build into a Seeker build, I think you should be able to one-hit somebody. Because, you know, as soon as you let, you know, let go of that Seeker mine, you become completely vulnerable yourself um, because you've built any skill power, you don't have any toughness, you don't have any DPS. And, you know, I do think it's something that should remain in the game. However, I have played against teams where I was in a high X build the, uh, the other night and we came up against five or six guys in one team in the last land who were all using Seeker Mines and Flame Turrets. And I do admit it wasn't fun, but it's the one and only time that I've ever had a game in the last stand where that many people were using Seeker Mines in one game. Um, build diversity in the game is at its, high time, uh, is at its highest that it's ever been, and I don't really think Seeker Mines need to take that hat yet again. Um, in order to appease, you know, a lot of, of people who are vocal regarding the issue of Seeker Binds in the game, simply because they want to shoot guns in a game where you're meant to have the choice of how you play, the choice of how you make a build, that is what this game is about, that is its uniqueness. And I do think it's a shame that Seeker Minds are taking a hit yet again, um, because you know people who play DPS builds don't like being one hit by a Seeker Mine. But what they seem to forget is you're able to counter Seeker Mines, you, you know, you're able to hear them coming, you're able to deal with them, you're able to shoot them, you're able to EMP them. There's so many ways in which you can actually deal with a Seeker Mine that these DPS players are kind of missing the point about what the division is. It's not a shooter. It's not solely a shooting game. It's meant to be a game where you can build a tank build, where you can build a DPS build, where you can build a skill build. And however you want to use that skill build or that DPS build or that tank build is meant to be up to the player. But unfortunately... The community has spoken and it does appear that simply, you know, Seekers are getting nerfed yet again and um, I'm hoping that Massive actually sit up and take note of the people who are on the, the opposite side of the coin who are saying, please going to stop nerfing my Seeker build, going to please stop nerfing skill builds, that's what I like running. I don't like running DPS builds and you know you need you know you have to look at it from a balanced point of view for both sides not just from the fanboys who are shouting for a DP you know DPS fanboys who are shouting for a seeker build nerf yet again because that's like the fourth or fifth one now you know I think massive it's time for you to stop nerfing seeker minds and provide DPS players an obvious route in order, how, in order in which to counter attack Seeker Mines. Although there's many, many ways in the game for you to counter Seeker Mines at the moment. And people who don't know how to do that just simply have not looked on YouTube for the solutions. Or don't know how to listen for a Seeker Mine rolling at them. So on and so forth. I could go on and on and on about that issue. But Seeker Mines are taking yet another hit. Which I think is a shame. But that is what's going to happen. So that was basically, that was pretty much everything that they said in State of the Game. The PTS is coming soon, hopefully within the next week or so I would assume, because they're looking to get, that, as I say, the patch out live in the game during the summer and they've got a certain time frame to do that before they then move on to 1.8. And obviously there's a lot of plans in place for classified gear sets, the... Uh, 
ability to allow people to keep grinding for gear without the change of a gear score increase, which is really, really good. And actually, I think is actually quite clever as well. It does allow people to keep playing the game, keep grinding for gear, be able to play these new global events that are going to happen once a week every month and, you know, build towards something different, build towards something more powerful than what they've currently got, but without having to totally sell everything in your stash and restart again from scratch because I think that would actually just, just piss a lot of people off, to be honest with you. So I'm happy to say there isn't a gear score increase at the moment, <clears throat> Excuse me, but they have introduced a new way in order for you to grind for new gear, which will make you more powerful, but doesn't actually change the gear score itself. So it does allow people to maintain their gear sets that they've currently built up, but just simply make them more powerful, which is really, really good. <clears throat> the Ninja Bike Messenger backpack's got a rework on it and it sounds really, really good on paper, but I think it might be slightly game-breaking when people find the new metas. And also, Seeker Minds are getting a nerf yet again. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was pretty much it. I'm pretty sure they'll be talking mu much more about the changes coming to the game in the coming weeks, but hopefully the PTS is going to be announced before they need to do that, and we're actually going to see a lot of these changes first hand as a surprise as and when we're actually playing the pts when it comes to pc and console as i said hopefully within the next week or two so that's pretty much it guys it's a lot of news a lot of stuff to take in anything you want to ask me about it please hit that comment section Tell me what you think about it and all that kind of good stuff. You know, do you think, if, you know, Seeker Mind should take another nerf? Are you happy that classified gear sets are going to be introduced to the game where you have more powerful 5th and 6th gear set buffs added to the current gear sets that you have? Do you think the Ninja Mike Messenger backpack is going to break the game? Do you think it's going to bring in more build diversity? What's your thoughts? You've already, he already heard what I think about different things. And it's time, you know, the community needs to talk. We need to get this information passed on to Massive and everybody that dealing with these issues and let them know what the community thinks because they are listening to the community. They do want to hear what we've got to say. And, it, you know, this is probably one of the best platforms in order to do that because, uh, you know, I can, you know, they will watch these videos. I will send this video on to Massive myself and let them know what my thoughts are, so on and so forth. So, you know, as I say, if you've got a comment, write it down there and we'll get it passed on to Massive. Massive will certainly see it at some point and they do want to know what everybody's feelings and thoughts are on these different changes and you know, the new kind of policy, as it were, of how the game's going to progress and move forward. But it was really good news this week. It was very, very exciting. If you're a Division player, it was really good news. And a lot of really good stuff came out of it. And that that's pretty much it, guys. If you like the video, if you like the gameplay in the background, if you like listening to my voice, hit that like, hit that subscribe, more importantly, go into that comment section, guys, start talking, let us know what you think, um, add me up on Xbox One, my gamer tag is FraboyMaster, I'm happy to play with people all the time, new subs are always joining in in my videos, they're always joining in the gameplay, and you'll, if you watch the comments and see the new videos, you'll see that I do play with different people all the time. And it's simply that I'm playing with you guys. I'm one of the YouTubers like Vandalex Gaming and a few other people who do play with people who are the YouTubers and who are the content creators. I don't, you know, limit myself to exclusivity of only playing with a certain group of people. I do pretty much play with anybody, give everybody a chance, always happy to help out, always happy to help people level up and do all that kind of good stuff. So if you need help, if you need advice, if you just want something new to play with, you can add me up, my gamer tag is Master, And that's pretty much it guys, thanks very much for listening, hit that like, hit that subscribe, support the channel, help us grow, help us get bigger, and all that good stuff. I thank you very much for your time, and I hope you take care of yourselves guys, and I will definitely see you all in the next one. Thanks very much.
I know, but I can hit you again, and, and I, I don't want to keep doing that and, and look like an ass, you know what I mean? But if you keep putting it Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. 